All right, everyone, it's time to find your skills, perfect them, and we're going to put them to work, too. Let's explore the trade opportunities that await at Northwest Mississippi Community College. So our students start in August each year, so we're fall entry on our program. And so by March, generally the next year, uh, so nine months or so, they're ready to uh, start applying for internships with local companies. We have 100% job placement for the past 30 plus years. I mean, if they, if they graduate from this program and they want to work uh, in the field, they can, they can find employment. They will learn how to uh, manually operate lathes and mills, drill presses, basic shop equipment, uh, blueprint reading, uh, the machine tool math is, is one of our classes where it's just basic shop math, um, precision instrument reading, uh, quality control, learning to check their parts, uh, CNC programming, they'll learn how to adjust their offsets, how to, to change the machines if needed to, to get parts back in tolerance. We, we do basically a little bit of everything. And then our newest technology, we have a new 3D scanner, so we can actually scan a part in 3D and they need to take it to our machining center. Uh, and produce it or we've got a, a few 3D printers, some filament and resin and we actually have a metal 3D printer that we can print parts out in stainless steel. So we, we cover lots of, lots of older technology and then we incorporate the newer technology as, as they continue through the program. And the students we have come in, 90% uh, of them have never even seen this type of equipment that we have. They're coming in fresh out of school, they've never touched a mill or a lathe and just, just seeing them learn and progress through that and, uh, and get the feel for it and, and know what they're doing by the time they graduate and uh, seeing how much the students grow. Because, I mean, it is when you start with, with a, a freshman and in a couple of years you get closer to them and, and, they, and they grow and you see them progress and they get excited when they come back and tell you about the new job they just got and that's always really, really great just to hear about their success when they, when they leave here. And we'd like to hear from all our students and, you know, we have the young students that come back and they get to show off all their their new toys they just bought, their new trucks and that kind of stuff. And then we have the older students that come back and talk about how much better life they have supporting their family because they do have a higher paying job than, than what they were previously doing. We get all age ranges, uh, ranges so we have, uh, you know, students that just graduated high school and are 18 years old. And then we have some that are older that, that come back. They might be in their 20s or 30s, have a family. They're just looking to, to increase that. And so uh, I keep in touch with most of my students, and so I mean, there's there's just so many of them. You know, you hear from from a guy that that you know he was doing a job and, and he just didn't like it, and he came to us, and then I've talked to him, and he's a uh, at one of our local companies. He's one of the leads now, and he's he's making a really really good living. Well, honestly, I came into college not knowing what I wanted to do, but I just like to be mechanically inclined. I liked the program and, you know, it's just something that I thought that would be interesting for a girl to do. Some people do kind of give you the cold shoulder, look like you don't know what you're doing, but you really just study, work hard, and especially if you really just want to do it, you know, don't mind what the boy's doing, just do your own thing, for real though, like, you gonna get it, honestly. <laughs> My first time working with metals on the manual lay in the um, in the mill and stuff, like I didn't know nothing about that. I thought it was dangerous and everything. But Mr. Covington and Mr. Sinkfield, they trained us real well on the machine and how to calibrate everything. They make sure we got everything down packed so we will not hurt ourselves. Oh, yeah, everything hands on, then the instructors, they make sure we know what we're doing. Like, if we need help on the machine, they'll help us, be like, show us, then we'll do it ourselves. I ain't got good at math skills. I done got good at team skills because, you know, we have to help each other in class and stuff. If you love doing something, it's going to be fun to you anyway. If you love doing something, plus everybody want money, so you can enjoy doing what you like and having money. In this area, there's, there's really just tons of industries. I mean, literally, we get calls every day of companies wanting students to come work for them because they're just they're just in high demand. Uh, they pay really well. We've got uh, internships set up with several local companies. They'll start taking them their second semester, freshman year, and they guarantee to pay at least $18 an hour while they're doing that apprenticeship with them. So the pay is the pay is really good right out the gate. Uh, once they've been working for a couple of years, you know, it's it's easy to expect uh, 23 to 25 dollars an hour after a couple of years and just grows after that. So if you were interested in coming here, um, you can come here for two years. You can get the skills you need to make a great living for your family 
Uh, you can, you know, you can set your goals for yourself financially. You can be set up for that. Uh, most companies offer a good retirement, so you, you've got something good to raise a family on. And it, it only takes two years. Um, if you want to further your degree, there's um, other, you can carry this and you can go farther. We have several students that go into engineering when they leave here because they have the skills and the background to it. I mean, it's just, if you want to set up yourself up for a good quality life, uh, with some really good skills that you can carry on, you know, until you're ready to retire, this is the place to do it, and you're done in two years. That's right, the doors are wide open at Northwest for you to better yourself. Stick around because after the break, I'll, sh I'll share how One Chef is also doing just that. Next on Bluff City Life, fried chicken, tacos, who knew mushrooms could do all that? The Shroomlicious Chef is here to show us how it's done. 